Okay, today we're gonna go over how to properly install an ICM 493 um, single phase voltage monitor with surge protection. We're doing these on all of our Infinity systems that have inverter boards. On this particular one, we have our service disconnect on the right hand side, and then we have our ICM 493 here. So first off, we're gonna wanna come out of the disconnect into our voltage monitor surge protector here. On the back side of this, I'll show you how it's actually wired up. So on the left hand side, we're monitoring voltage. And then once we know our voltage is in line, then our board is going to activate our contactor, which is then going to send voltage to our actual condensing unit. Again, so our line voltage is going to be wired in to the left-hand side, and then our load, which is our condenser, is going to be wired into the right-hand side. On this board, you also have a three amp low voltage fuse. All right, so that's pretty much how it's wired up. You have four different Capcons, upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. This upper left one's a little bit tricky to get in, so you do have to remove these two screws to get easy access to that upper left-hand side. Obviously, make sure everything's perfectly level. Silicone the top portion that's up against the wall. So then you close it up. Um, this particular one has a set screw right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and we'll go through the programming. Okay, so for our setup on the ICM 493, uh, you just push the actual set up button. Uh, so first you're gonna push the setup, it's gonna ask you the line voltage. Uh, so what is this appliance? Is it a 2A, 240, um, whatever it may be, this particular one's a 240. Um, over under voltage percentage. So we are going with 5% um, under or over 240 volts will actually open the contacts that's providing voltage to our load. Um, so we wanna go with 5%. Then we're gonna have line voltage 240 over under, anti short cycle delay. Um, this comes at 30 seconds. I bumped it up to two minutes. Reset mode, so you can change this from one trial or automatic. Um, I went over the pros and cons with the customer and we chose to go with automatic on this one. Allowed MOV fails, five. Um, this one, you can also change that as well. We're gonna go with five. And that's pretty much it as far as the setup goes. The last step is actually calibrating the ICM 493. How you're going to do this is push the up and down arrows until your line voltage starts to flash. And with a RMS meter, you're going to check your line voltage between L1 and L2. Go up and down as required. This one's already dialed in at 242 volts. Um, once you got it dialed in, you just push the setup button and you are good to go. And those are all done. So remaining MOVs is five, and the actual voltage that we are receiving is 243, and that'll fluctuate. This one's fluctuating between about 242 and 243. 